Hello and welcome to Infinity. I once made a terrible mistake, which is that I was out in the Australian outback and I changed lenses several times and then I found I'd got some dust on the sensor, unsurprisingly. And um, I didn't have my full kit with me and I didn't have my dust blower. So I thought, oh, I'll just purse my lips and give it a little bit of a blow. And of course it made it a hundred times worse because moisture from the breath goes out, goes onto the sensor. Don't do that one again. So let's have a look at the problem to see how bad it is. If you zoom into this, you can start to see here the dust bunnies on the picture. You can exaggerate those so you can really see them. If I go to live filters, go to unsharp mask and just turn up the radius and factor. And there you can see the kind of horrible mess that is here. You know, you move around, just look at all that lot. And it's bad elsewhere as well. So what can we do about that? So what I'm going to do is, you know, no normally what you might do is you might go to the in painting brush and go around spotting each of these in turn, but there's a whole lot of them and they're very easy to miss. So I'm going to go to control zero to go back out again and turn off the unsharp mask. I'll leave it there for now so I can go back and look at it. I'm going to select the top layer and I'm going to go to the selection brush and make sure I've got snapped edges on and just paint around the edge. It's a fairly easy to, picture to do this. There we go. Select to the sky. Now then I'm going to go to select and grow shrink. And what I do here, rather than grow, I'm going to shrink it. So I've got a bit around the edge of the sky, which is about the size of the largest dust bunny I'm going to get, and a little bit more to spare, perhaps. And I'll apply that. Now, I hit Control C and Control V. So now over here, I've cut and pasted a copy of this. I can now hit Control D. I don't need the uh, marching ants anymore. Now I'm going to go for this top layer here. I'm going to go from normal mode to lighten mode. Nothing seems to happen because you've got pixels on top of pixels, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn on the unsharp mask layers here so you can see what's going on. So if I go into this again, you can see here all these, this mess around here. And now what I do is something's quite magical. I go to the top layer here. I go to the move tool, click on this, and watch what happens if I drag sideways. All those dust bunnies disappear. And it's because I am applying the light and blend mode so that I got on one layer I've got a dust bunny, which is dark, always darker, and above that the sky. And so consequently Who's going to win? The lighter one, which is the sky. So it works both ways, because I've got dust bunnies on the top layer and the bottom layer, but it doesn't matter, they kind of cancel each other out. You can see bits of patterns in here, but that's because I've got the unsharp mask on. If I take that off there, you can see this is a lot better. There we go. But there the, they've all disappeared. When doing this, you might have to go around and tidy up a little bit here and there, maybe a bit of masking, maybe a bit of you know, catching the bunnies right down the very edge, which got missed. But it's amazing how much it works and just fix it all in one go. There you go. A wonderful little technique that sometimes you might need. Thank you very much for watching.